Good day, YouTube. This is J Money with Falling Ford Financial. Just a um, found an article here on some uh, electric cars and about the uh, $7,500 tax credit. So um, anything that comes out about electric cars, I like to make a video about. Um, I've um, done quite a few videos on EVs, lithium, um, ion, you name it, cobalt, uh, anything that um, has its hand with uh, EVs. So. Uh, but most electric cars won't qualify for a Democrat's new $7,500 tax credit. And this just came out on the uh, 10th. So uh, another uh, thing that they're doing that's uh, just kind of disappointing. But um, <laughs> life goes on. Uh, Tesla electric cars charge at a supercharger. So um, I saw a picture of something similar to this but it looked it didn't have a lot of trees it wasn't as residential looking it was kind of like out in the country I'm sure uh, you've seen it yourself if you're on uh, Facebook but it was a bunch of these Tesla chargers and there's about a water up to here and just an ad basically picture making fun of uh, EVs and uh, but whatever, they're not going to build these and in a floodplain, if you will. So <laughs> uh, the picture was funny, but it's just kind of not realistic. But um, definitely not going to have this in a flood zone. So uh, Tesla electric cars charge at a supercharger. Democrats are poised to uh, pass the Inflation Reduction Act, a major piece of Biden's agenda includes a renewed tax credit for electric car buyers, but the uh, new program has restrictions that would exclude most uh, current electric models. So, might work for some, probably won't work for others. So, but they've been working on this Inflation Reduction Act, which uh, uh, just makes me laugh. Which they say there's no inflation, but now we have an Inflation Reduction Act. So. Uh, Hypocrite. So it's a law that aims to, uh, among other things, uh, curb climate uh, change by uh, revamping the federal government's tax credit for people who buy EVs. Taxpayers will be able to uh, cash in on the rebate credits for energy efficiency efforts at home, with the uh, bill providing credits for everything from installing solar panels to electric stoves. The bill is currently written most electric cars on the market wouldn't qualify for the new $7,500 incentive once it goes into effect uh, next year. EV buyers have benefited from a $7,500 tax time kickback uh, since 2010, but the revised uh, program would add layers of new restrictions aimed at boosting U.S. manufacturing to qualify for the full credit, vehicles will need to be made in North America. Such uh, use of North American battery components and contain raw battery materials either sourced from North America or from countries the United States has a trade agreement with. Currently, prospective car buyers can choose electric vehicles from a wide range of manufacturers and receive a credit, but the restrictions on battery minerals and assembly will become stricter over time. So there's 72 electric, hybrid, and hydrogen vehicles on the U.S. market. 70% would immediately become ineligible for credits when the bill passes, according to the Alliance for Automotive Innovation, a trade group. The $7,500 tax credit uh, might exist on paper, but no vehicles will qualify for the purchase incentive over the next few years. Some of today's uh, most popular electric uh, models like the Hyundai, I think that's Ionic 5 and Kia EV6, are built abroad and wouldn't uh, qualify for credits. The new program would extend credits to use EVs and to Tesla and General Motors vehicles, uh, which are currently ineligible for credits after both brands sold more than 200,000 qualifying cars. Congress' goal is to increase adoption of clean vehicles, support domestic manufacturing, the U.S. dependence on foreign suppliers, particularly China, for uh, critical battery materials. China refines 59% of the world's 
lithium and 75% of its cobalt, according to Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. So even before the bill was announced, the car makers and suppliers were working furiously to build up domestic battery production, vehicle assembly, and mining. The auto industry is a big industry. It takes some time to uh, steer the uh, ship. Policy analysts at Consumer Reports told Insider if they don't get more time, then there will be probably be a short couple-year period where a lot of automakers uh, don't qualify. So that's going to kind of hurt a lot of the uh, automakers out there, especially if you have cars that people want, but their deciding factor is the... $7,500 tax credit, so that's going to hurt. So over the next several years, as the whole ecosystem develops, it may be tough to find products that meet the standard. So going to have to do some shopping and research and make sure if you're looking to get into an EV, you get that uh, tax credit. Um, but So just kind of another... It's almost kind of sneaky in a way. They're pushing EVs, pushing to uh, get you into EVs, but some of them don't qualify. So feel free to leave a comment. If you have any more information on this, that would be interesting to uh, go over, and uh, well, that way we can all share the information. And if there's any other uh, stocks out there you want me to take a look at and make a video on, I'll be happy to do that. I'm working on some videos here this morning. And going to be turning out some here over the weekend. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. And hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.